all right in this video we're gonna discuss how you can use high speed counter in your micrologix plc right now i am online with my micrologix 1400 plc it's a series b and i have connected my encoder with it so right now my vcc is red which is connected to power supply plus 24 volt and negative is connected with black and i have jumper 24 volt to my common over here and my a value is going to input zero and my b value is not connected because i'm using as just open wire right now as a b because i'm going to connect that uh, later on in this video so let's discuss what kind of setting is very important in your plc side so when you deal with high speed counter you have to make sure a couple things you go to function files if you're using your high speed counter number zero let's expand this you have to make sure your auto start is on which is number one you have to make sure your counting enable is also one as well as you have to make sure what mode you are using in and on the pfn which is program file number it must be a different than your default ladder over here default program right so now i created another one which is number three so i use number three here on the other hand if you go to io configuration you double click on your plc you select what base type you want to select for your plc on the embedded io you filter out your input to the lowest value so you can have precise values of your encoder and what kind of uh, settings gonna have in mode number two so i pulled up this micrologix 1400 manual and on high speed mode number two counter with external direction so what happens when my direction is off i'm gonna count in plus but when it's on i'm gonna count in negative so let's go with that right now as you can see on the screen all right right now my one is off and my zero is gonna count so when i'm gonna move as you can see when it's off according to this sheet i'm gonna count in plus so right now number one is off over here and i'm counting in plus five thousand six thousand seven thousand like that but when i'm gonna connect my b value with that it will stay on over here just give me a second Alrighty, now I connected my B with number one, input number one. My input number one will stay on. And as per this sheet, when my direction will be on, I will count in negative. So now my number one is on. And when I'm going to move my encoder, as you can see, I'm counting in negative now. I'm going down. So that how its external input will determine the direction of your encoder and that's how you can set it up according to those mode sheet what kind of encoder you are using depending on that and then you can use what mode you have to select to get the desired values thank you very much